Good morning. It is Thursday, June 3rd. Welcome back to another travel vlog. And it has been a crazy week. I really mean that. So I was in, uh, obviously you know that because you just saw the playlist before this one. I was in Michigan this past Saturday for the Luke Bryan concert. Flew up to Detroit, drove up to the center of Michigan for the day. Came back to Florida, went back home. And then... I was still in CDL school. I passed my Florida State CDL exam on Wednesday, yesterday, and now I'm a fully licensed CDLA driver, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so I was like, you know, screw it. It's Wednesday. I don't start my new job. Um, I'll tell you about that later, but I start my new uh, CDL tractor trailer driving job next Wednesday. But before I get there, I'm like, I have a whole week off, so let's do something. So let's go to Vegas, which I've been wanting to go to Vegas for a while anyway now. So yeah, flew Saturday to Michigan, and today's Thursday morning, just after 8 a.m. I'm in Las Vegas. Really nice day out. It's got to be about 90 degrees right now. It's still early in the morning. High is like 109 today. My kind of weather. High heat advisory the entire time I'm out here, so... It is Thursday morning. Just had a non-stop flight from Orlando to Las Vegas, Spirit Airlines. I got the, uh, the what Spirit calls the big front seat, which is basically first class seats. The big ones in the front of the plane. But no service. They don't give you like a meal or nothing, but I don't care about that. It's nice to have that you know, kind of comfortable seat when the flight is five hours. So Orlando to Vegas. I'm here until tomorrow night. Like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got a red eye. Back home tomorrow, about 9.30 flight frontier from Orlando, excuse me, from Vegas to Orlando. I live in Tampa, but I usually fly out of the Orlando airport since it's always so much cheaper and there's more flight options available and the parking is cheaper there. And it's only an hour from where I live. So yeah, what I'm doing today, I'm not going to get a rental car. Decided, you know, this isn't really a sightseeing trip. This is just a relax and kickback kind of trip. I haven't decided where I'm staying tonight yet. I don't know if I'm going to stay on the strip. I might go over to Samstown and stay there. Don't know yet. I'll let you guys know when I know. Probably won't book anything for a few more hours. And I'm carrying this bag right here because this is just my drawstring bag. Free personal item on Spirit Airlines. They don't charge you for it. And the thing broke, so... I was contemplating sitting there in the airport, do I want to get rid of this whole bag and throw out everything in it? Because I don't want to carry this around all day. Because again, I'm going to have no car. Wherever I stay, I won't be able to check in till 3. It's about, it's like between, it's like 8 something, like 9 a.m., something like that. So I don't want to carry this around all day, especially with the strap being broken, which just happened a few minutes ago. So I was sitting there thinking, do I want to just ditch everything in here and throw it all out? And I came to the conclusion, no, I don't want to lose some of the things that are in here. So I'm like, okay, now what? Um, so I found a uh, service just on a quick Google search. Because, like, there's no luggage storage at most U.S. airports anymore for security reasons. So you can't get a locker or nothing. But there are services you can go to. And I found one that's right on the heart of the strip. Uh, not far from the Tropicana. It's at a bar room. It's six bucks a day. They'll store your bag or your whatever for you in the back room. Keep it safe. So I said, I'm here for two days. Yeah, I'll give them 12 bucks to avoid having to carry this thing around. I already booked it online. So that's where I'm headed right now. I'm walking to the strip. It's about a mile walk. Y'all have seen this before if you know this channel. One of my more you know more better received videos was walking from McCarran Airport to the Vegas Strip two or three years ago same route just this little sidewalk airports behind me back there I'm rambling on and on but you guys can probably tell I'm in a good mood I passed the CDL exam yesterday I'm a fully licensed tractor trailer driver now I have a new job coming up next week but life is good man life is good all right, I'm going to shut the heck up now, and I'll uh, talk to you guys a little bit later. Getting closer. Right up here, this next intersection you can see up ahead is Tropicana Ave. I just hang a left on that. Takes me right up into the heart of the Vegas Strip. And no, I'm not using a map or anything. I've just been to Las Vegas enough times to know my way around pretty good. Now, this is a really fun town. 
All right, it's hours later. It's like five o'clock in the afternoon. So it's basically been all day since I've recorded anything. Two reasons for that. Number one, I was just kicking back, relaxing, enjoying some penny slots at my favorite casinos, which are uh, Treasure Island and Circus Circus. I was there for a long time today. Walked around, explored some other places, got a deep dish pizza from Giordano's for lunch. That was really good. I'm heading over to Samstown right now. I'm staying at Samstown tonight. It's about six miles from the strip. I'm probably a half a mile off the strip. I'm on foot still. Um, Lyft and Uber were crazy expensive, so I said, oh, screw it. I'll just start walking and see what happens. Now, I may jump on the city bus here too, but it's just such a nice day out. It's 108 and sunny. It's just so comfortable out, so I'm good walking for now. So another, another reason I didn't really vlog today was I was pretty drunk. I had a lot of drinks today. Um, just kind of starting to sober up now a little bit. So yeah, there was, there was that. I try, I try not to uh, drink and vlog. But yeah, staying at Sam's Town tonight. Heading on over there. And I will check in as I get closer. All right, so I have been slacking on this trip. I know I haven't been vlogging very good, but with, um, you know, being pretty drunk yesterday and, you know, I, anyway, so I walked all the way to Samstown, just over six miles. It was just such a nice day. It's 108. I stopped at convenience stores for, you know, Gatorade and water twice. Just such a nice day. And I, I was uh, mostly sobered up by that point, too. Yeah, it's the next morning, 100%, you know, no more alcohol in my system. So, yeah, anyway, so I'm not going to mention that again. I don't drink very often. Um, but, yeah, so I stayed at Sam's Town. Here's the room. I'll turn the camera around. And this is just my favorite, favorite, favorite casino in Vegas. I just love it here. Since they have the most variety of one cent games because i love the penny slots and this is the only place in the nation i've ever come across that has one cent per hand video poker which is my favorite casino game but you know i like when it's one cent a hand and not five ten twenty five cents a hand like a lot of places are so this 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 is the spot just blue collar kick back have some fun casino um so it's about seven thirty in the morning las vegas time i'm still on eastern time so i didn't get up too early and I'm going to go downstairs, have some breakfast here, and uh, play some video poker for a while. Probably be here till the middle of the day, and then I'll take it from there. I have a 9.30 p.m. red-eye flight home from Las Vegas back to Florida. So I have all day. All right, just about to check out of the room here at Sam's Town. I went downstairs, had a couple hours of slot machine video poker time. It was really fun. And I ate at Roberto's Taco Shop, which is a chain out here on the West Coast. They have one right here in Sam's Town. Got a really good bacon breakfast burrito. And it's about 11 in the morning. My flight's at 9.30 tonight. So I got a whole day still, pretty much. Gonna go down to the casino in Sam's Town again right here and play some more machines. And once I get tired of that, I haven't really decided what I'm doing yet. I'm thinking about maybe going over to South Point, then I can eat their buffet for dinner before I go to the airport, because South Point's the only, or one, it's either the only or one of the only buffets in town that's open right now. So I think I might do that, just a little bit of a pricey Uber ride, so I haven't fully decided yet, but I, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Sitting in the shade on a bench out front of Sam's Town. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon. Had a really good time in Sam's Town. Had Roberto's Taco Shop for breakfast today. Had a big old breakfast burrito and a couple tacos with it. It was so good. Played some penny machines, lots of video poker, some slots for a long time. Checked out of the room at 11. I was up and down. I, I got up to um, go down to the casino at like 8 o'clock. And then I checked out of the room a few hours later. Went down, played another hour or two. Um... I'm waiting for a lift to pick me up right now because I'm going over to South Point. Don't really feel like going back to the strip. At South Point, the buffet is open, so that's where I'm gonna eat dinner tonight, get a nice, good buffet meal before I have to head off to the airport. And there's also a bowling tournament going on over at Sam's Town. They have like the biggest and nicest bowling alley in Las Vegas. There's a million lanes over there. 
and the bowling alley's closed for walk-in public bowling because some big tournament. So I'm hoping I can go and watch some, uh, you know, pretty good bowling in action for something to do. And of course, I'll play penny slots over there, get a nice meal at the buffet. And after that, that's just about going to round out this trip. I'll take another uh, Lyft or Uber back up to uh, the Strip. Because I do have to go back up to the Strip to pick up my bag that I left in storage yesterday. So I'll grab my bag, and then from there I'll just walk to the airport. I really do enjoy that walk. It's something to do. It's nice to stretch my legs and be outdoors in the heat before I have to get on the plane. So that's what's going on rest of today. Alright, so I know I've been slacking in this vlog. It's been a long time since you guys have seen me. I've vlogged very little on this trip so far, and it's almost two days in. But, and this camera kind of isn't the greatest, so me vlogging at night, well... Anyway, let me give you guys a quick update, because a lot has happened. So last time I talked to you guys, I was leaving Sam's Town. And I had a great time at Sam's Town. I took, um, I took a lift ride over to... Um, South Point. I spent several hours at South Point, had a really good time over there, played some more video poker. They actually had one cent video poker, so I played the crap out of that for a while. It was really fun. They had um, one cent, not as many as Samstown, but they had a lot of one cent games over there. So I did that. Um, I ate dinner at South Point. Um, just went, you know, basic, had, had some hot dogs for dinner, because they had a hot dog stand that was like $1.25, so I had a few of them. And then, but the plan was to take a lift back, a lift, Uber, whatever, back to the strip so I could pick up this bag that I had left at the uh, bag storage place right on the strip. And that, the bag storage, by the way, $6 a day really really awesome you know, I, so I didn't have to carry this around for the entire trip highly recommend something like that um, I don't even remember what the fucking service was called um, anyway so it took forever to get um, a lift ride from Samstown over to South Point. I had to wait about 40 minutes, which usually it'd be like a five to 10 minute wait. So it's just, they're short-handed on drivers. Because you know, they have like everywhere else, nobody wants to work right now. So they're, they're short-handed on drivers big time. But the real place I ran into trouble was when I tried to go from South Point back to the Strip to get my bag. Um, I had to wait an hour and a half, almost two hours, to get a lift ride. And I had, uh, when, once you know, a driver finally did come and get me, I had an amazing conversation, best conversation I've had in a long time with the uh, driver. She was a 51-year-old woman, just talked about, um, really just talked about dating and being lonely, basically. Because, you know, I'm, obviously I'm fucking single. I have, you know, travel is what I chose. But she was just unloading on, you know, rambling on and on about how, you know, she's single and lonely. And... So, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I got travel. You need a hobby or something. But anyway, it was a good conversation. And so that happened. And, um... Got, got me back to uh, the strip so I could pick up my bag. And by this time, it was like getting iffy on time to make my flight because if I had to wait that long again for, um, you know, to get a ride over to the airport, I was going to walk, but because that had taken so long to go from South Point back to the strip, I no longer had time to walk to the airport, so I was going to have to take a lift again. And I was like, oh, screw it. It's probably going to be another really long wait. And I don't have time for that. So I'm like, ah, I don't feel like going home today anyway. Screw it. So I was on my phone for about a half hour figuring out options, looking up flights from all different places and rental cars and just doing what I do. And so right now I am walking to the airport, but I'm not flying. Um, I'm here right here on Tropicana Boulevard. The strip is behind me. I'm going to the airport just to go to the rental car center. So I'm picking up a car. I'm picking up a car.
picking up a car and returning it tomorrow night in Los Angeles at LAX. So I just figured, ah, oh, screw it. There's a cheap flight from Los Angeles to Orlando tomorrow night. Well, not like cheap, cheap. I mean, cheap for being so last minute. So I'm flying home tomorrow night. I'll get home early Sunday morning to Florida. And of course, my own pickup truck still parked at the Orlando airport. So I don't have any set plan for tomorrow. I just have to return the car for a 10.30 p.m. flight home, non-stop. Um, the only thing I have planned is I want to eat a Jack in the Box, because I haven't done that this trip yet, but they're all over California and Nevada. And I'm gonna go to the Last Chance Casino on Interstate 15 in Nevada, but right before the California state line. I don't know if it's, I don't remember what it's called. It's not called the Last Chance Casino, but it's like the last casino before you enter California from Nevada. So I don't believe they have casino gaming in California. So I'm gonna go check that one out. Looks like it's a little tiny one. And after that, find a highway rest area, catch a nap, and I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but I'm gonna vlog whatever it is, because honestly, it is quite a bit easier to vlog when I have a car. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. So I'm still walking towards the airport. I'm maybe, I don't know, I'm maybe a third of the way there. It's not a terribly long walk. Long enough that, you know, most average tourists aren't gonna do it, but I'm, I'm not your damn average tourist, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, I'm just in a good mood because I'm not going home tonight. How many times has this happened to me? Yep, I only have one other set of clothes with me, but you know, I've been there before. So, all right, it's been a, several minutes now. I'm going to stop rambling. I'll check in with you guys again when I get the car. All right, so I got to... The airport on foot and jumped on the shuttle to the rental car center which the rental cars are a royal pain in the ass at Las Vegas McCarran Airport because the rental car center is separate from the airport but it's just kind of a long bus ride to get there then once I did get in there there was a 45 minute wait to get a car I rented through Avis because I needed a one-way rental from Las Vegas to Los Angeles and they were the only one that had you know, anywhere near the lowest price. Like, it would have been $200 more to go with any other company. So I stuck with Avis and just waited in the line. And rental cars, let me tell you, if you haven't rented a car in the last year or two, they are more expensive than ever. They're just so friggin' expensive. And I'm not one to bitch and moan, but rental cars are fucking expensive. I'm talking like double, triple, quadruple what they were just a year and a half, two years ago. This car for a one day, 24 hour rental was $228. But I'm like, damn it, I want to travel. This is the trip I want to take tomorrow. So fuck it all. It's only money. I only live once. But yeah, it's damn annoying, but I wasn't going to let that be the reason I didn't do what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, the only car they had for a good rate, because when you're doing a one-way rental from one city to another, it just depends what the city you're going to needs and what the city you're starting in has, and that affects the price. So the best price was a convertible, so I'm in a Ford Mustang. I love Ford, so I'm glad if I have to have a convertible, it's a Mustang. But I don't like convertibles. I'd rather be in a regular car. But with that said, this car's kind of cool. It's fun. It's just, I don't know. A convertible feels a little bit girly to me. But I wasn't going to pay, you know, 50 bucks extra for something else when it's only one day. But that's neither here nor there. So I am at Whiskey Pete's Hotel and Casino. This is in Prim, Nevada, right on the Nevada California state line. I 15, exit one. Highway's right over there. Casino's right behind me. And I didn't want to call it a night on gambling just yet. I wanted to hit up another casino, but I also wanted to put a few miles down. It's about four hours from Vegas to LA. I'm only about 30 minutes in. The California state line, like you could throw a baseball into California, but this is still Nevada. So I'm going to go in and check out Whiskey Pete's. Um, 
this is just average casino, but the uh, the car that Bonnie and Clyde got shot up and died in is supposed to be in here. The real, actual one on display. If you don't know who Bonnie and Clyde are, um, just pull it up on Wikipedia. But that should be in here, so I'll take some pictures of that. Just hang out, play some penny slots until I feel like getting back on the road. And it is about... I don't even know what time it is. Let me look. It's 11.56 at night. It feels later for some reason. I was only in there five or ten minutes. You know, I used the restroom and walked around a little bit. But Whiskey Pete's was a big disappointment for a few reasons. No penny games. I looked. They didn't have many machines in there, but no, they had no true penny machines. And by that, I mean one cent denomination where you can bet one line, one credit, and play a hundred spins for a dollar. They didn't have that here. And normally, like a more like off the strip, like kind of more like run down, older blue collar type casino, you'd expect them to have that. And the Bonnie and Clyde car was not in there. Here's where it was supposed to be. So there's two casinos in this town of uh, Prim, Nevada. So I'm just going to head over to the other one and see if it's any better. It's called Buffalo Bills Casino, I believe. And it's literally right there. Like, it's walking distance, but I got the car, so I'm going to drive. And one more quick thing. It's after midnight. It's 93 degrees, according to the car, and I believe it. It is so nice out here in the desert heat. I love it! I was wrong. There's three casinos here in Prim, Nevada. Uh, Whiskey Pete's, where I just came from. Buffalo Bills, which is like a quarter mile up that way. And Prim Valley Resort and Casino. I thought this was Buffalo Bills, but it's Prim Valley Resort and Casino. So, might as well check out all three, right? Oh, for two. That casino didn't have any penny slots either. And then I just drove like less than a quarter mile up the street to go to the other casino, Buffalo Bills, and it's closed completely. It's, it's like it's right here, but it's dark. The parking lot's fenced off. So two casinos in Prim, Nevada. Honestly, they both sucked. They were small. They didn't have very many machines in them. No penny slots. And it just, I mean, maybe it's because I just came from Vegas. But it just had such a downer vibe in there. It did not feel like a Friday night at a casino. But anyway, um, so I guess I'm not going to play any more slots tonight. But what I am going to do is um, I'm going to hit the road, keep heading down I-15 south into California. I've just decided I'm going to go to Mount Wilson tomorrow. Because, you know, I'll be living in Florida for a little while now, I miss mountains. And it's a big old peak in the San Gabriel Mountains that overlooks Los Angeles. And all the, uh, not all, but a lot of the uh, FM radio and TV transmission towers are up there. It's a cool spot that's been on my bucket list to go to for years. Not like super high. I'm not, you know, high enough on my list to make a trip to L.A. just for that. But since I'm going to be there anyway, I'm going to check that out. So I'm going to start making my way over there. It's like another three hours and change to get to the Los Angeles area. So I'm just going to drive till I'm tired and sleep at a highway rest area. And when I get there and I get somewhere where it's a little more light out, I'll show you the car. It's maybe half hour, 45 minutes later. I'm still in Prim, Nevada. Both of the casinos sucked, but I did find a penny slot to play. Right over here, I'm at, I'm at a Chevron gas station, right next to the casinos, right up the highway. And in if, you're, if you've never been to Nevada before, slot machines are everywhere. They're in grocery stores, they're in gas stations, they're just everywhere. And this, slot, this gas station had three slot machines inside, all penny slots. So I sat down and played for a little while, put in a dollar... I ended up with $2.31. I got more money in my pocket than I went in with. You know, nothing to write home about, but it, it was fun. Did it fulfill my, you know, want to 
play more penny slots in a crowded casino and hang out on a Friday night more? No, I didn't, but it was something. I'm really tempted right now to turn around and drive the 40 minutes back to Las Vegas and just just go to Las Vegas a little bit longer. <laughs> That's such a hard city to leave. Every time I go to Vegas, I have that reaction. Like, I'm just so not ready to go home. It's just so much fun. I miss the energy and the excitement and how many people are there. Oh, I just miss it already. But now I'm going I'm going to go and continue on cuz I only have, you know, one more day to see some California stuff. Um yeah, like I said, I'm going to do Mount Wilson and I go I'm going to head into I'm sorry, I'm so freaking tired. I'm going to head into California right now on I-15. Drive until I get tired, hit the highway rest area and take it from there.